Hey, what is going on guys, it's Chaos Alex here and welcome to episode number one of our brand new series, The Road to Master Prestige here on Call of Duty World War 2. It feels really good to finally say that, we've finally done Infinite Warfare, so we are moving on to World War 2. If you don't know how this series works, every Monday we're going to be bringing you guys an episode showcasing our classes and stats and clips we hit that prestige, all the way up to Master Prestige, which is 10th Prestige, level 55. So let's get straight into it with the first class and probably the main class that will be used throughout the 10 prestiges, which is the Springfield class or the M1903. As it is known in this game, we've already got 755 kills of this thing. And as you can see by the hits, 770 hits, we've only ever got 15 hit markers with the Springfield, which just shows how powerful the Springfield really is. Uh, it's not a constant one shot kill like the WZ or the PTRS. But it is still very powerful, and as you see, out of 770 hits, only 15 have been hit markers. Uh, in terms of the accuracy, 49% isn't too good to be honest, but you know, we're just getting back into World War II, this is only the first prestige, so I expect that to go up. Uh, in terms of the attachments from it, we're running rapid fire, which is quite self explanatory. The Springfield is quite slow, so it definitely needs that. FMJ to help with those collaterals and those war bangs, and you know, maybe those triples were one shot triples. And then also ballistic calibration to steady the weapon. The weapon does have no aim assist, so you do want that scope to be quite steady. Uh, in terms of secondary, we've currently only got the PO8 with extender mags. But the best default secondary in this game, the machine pistol during this game's life cycle got nerfed into the ground. The M1911 seems to have like no aim assist on it, so I really like the POA, you can just kind of spray it, it is a free shot, we're extending them out to get quite a lot of bullets. Uh, hopefully we'll get the SAP during this series, because that is definitely the top tier pistol. Uh, for the division we are running, we are running Commando, which was the last division they ever added, and was probably the best division for snipers, just for the simple fact that you can run two basic trainings, and also it sped up your ADS speed after double kills. Uh, for the basic trainings, we are running Escalation, which is the best basic trading if you want to snipe in this game. Uh, what it does is after double kill, it will refill your magazine. So no more getting a triple kill and having to reload, or you know, getting a hit marker and you then have to reload. You can just keep going. As long as you get a double kill, your mag will reload. Another thing it does is after you get, I think, either one kill or a double kill, your ADS speed will start to get quicker. So obviously that's really, really beneficial. And then the second basic training we've got here is Lookout. So what Lookout does is it highlights everyone's gamer tags and makes them huge. So if you get a triple kill and in the moment, you know, you need to quickly find that fourth, you can easily pick them off at a certain distance. It's also really good for seeing campers. And it's just a great basic training in general for snipers. And then lastly, we've also got a sticky grenade on this class. Is it probably the best grenade in this game? The satchel charge is quite good. But you really need to run Saboteur if you want to do well with that. Uh, as you can see in this photo, which I'll put on screen now, we have already unlocked gold and gold leopard, which is you get for getting 25 double kills with the Springfield. We've not yet got gold cheater, which is 100 more headshots with the weapon, but we'll definitely be grinding it and we'll probably get it next prestige. And for the second class here, we've got an STG class. If we ever do venture online, this will be getting used. We've got quick draw, rapid fire and long bow. Pretty standard attachments, you know, pretty self explanatory quick draw, speed of that ADS so you can land shots quicker on your opponent. Rapid fire to obviously speed up the rate of fire. I think most weapons in this game, to be honest, need rapid fire. And then long barrel to increase the damage, because most weapons in this game, the damage isn't too good, to be fair. Uh, for the division, we're running mountain, just to quiet those footsteps. Footsteps in this game are quite loud. There's a lot of campers, so yeah, mountain is definitely needed. Uh, and then at the minute, we are running escalation, but that will be getting swapped out for hunker as soon as we unlock it. And again, the secondary is the POA with extender mag, a sticky, and a concussion, which concussions in this game are quite broken to be honest, they're quite annoying. But yeah, those are the only two classes we've been using so far. We've just been primarily using the Springfield, as it is my favourite sniper in this game, and Adzi has been mostly playing on his account. So yeah, that is the classes. In terms of the stats, we currently have a 3.72 KD, however only 242 kills online. So if you don't get how war works in this game, which is the primary game mode we are playing, uh, your stats in terms of your kills and your deaths are not affected by war uh, to try and get people to play the objective. It somewhat does work to be fair, a lot of people just throw themselves on the objecti objective, which is quite good, it's a definitely an objective based mode. So yeah, I do appreciate the fact that it doesn't change the KD. Uh, but also as you can see, we have more kills with the Springfield than apparently we do overall. So that K KD and those kills can't see changing too much to be fair, I'm not really going to probably leave the war playlist. Uh, in terms of win loss, we have a 1.56 and 72 wins, which to be fair, for war is quite good. 
uh, if you're playing war as a solo or as a duo, it's quite easy to lose it. You definitely need to have uh, competent teammates to win rounds of war consistently. So I'm quite happy with that 1.56. And then in terms of how long it took us to prestige, 14 hours, which I'm quite happy with. 14 hours to prestige is quite quick, especially for sniping. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. So uh, in terms of the clips with Hitchens prestige, this is going to be a new section of the videos. I thought I would bring to you guys these following clips. So the first clip I hear was hit by Adze, he's playing on his account, he's, he's got the Lee Enfield as his primary, playing a bit of Neptune, which is probably my least favourite out of all the operations here. Uh, we're trying to take that last bunker, which is definitely annoying, the last one. Pretty sure Trench Knife here does get killed, unfortunately. Fortunately he doesn't get the respawn glitch though, which is quite good. And you see we're trying to make a uh, push up the ladder, and he just flies in here with the Trench Knife. Let's pick up one, two. So a third there, just camping. We managed to pick up a fourth, then a fifth, a sixth, and then he does get a seventh for the quad feed. An insane clip there. You know, knife clips are just so insane, uh, especially on Neptune too. Like Neptune, who hits clips on Neptune? I guess Adam does. And then the second clip here by Adzit was his first quad feed with the Lee Enfield. He's playing a bit of breakout here. They've we uh, just done the first section and they're, they're all running to get to the bridge. I managed to pick up one who's AFK, get second, and I managed to pick up a collapse with a cheaper quad. And that is the only on screen quad feed for this entire uh, first prestige. The rest of my clips are all split. Uh, this third clip right here is a triple edge shot that I managed to hit with the Kan 8K, 8K. Just a really quick, quick scoping, quite happy with that. They were stood still, but still I think it demonstrated quite nice quick scoping. Then we got this other clip right here. This is also on my account using the Type 38, which was my favourite sniper going into this uh, game. I think at the, this point in time I do like the Springfield more. You can see here, uh, managed to pick up one. We're using the flamethrower right there, just giving himself away. Now I missed that shot on that guy, managed to pick up another. Yeah, that guy on head glitch right there for the triple. That guy right there for the rolling quad, and the guy, guy right there for the on screen split quad. Next clip right here, the last one on my account, I picked up this beautiful three line sniper, it has a beautiful camo on it. I also believe this is a heroic variant, which is why it looks so nice. And I managed to pick up one uh, kill right here while uh, stunned, I believe. Nice, I recover. I managed to pick up that guy right there. And then get the collapse for the triple headshot feed. I thought it was a really nice clip. You know, triple headshots are quite nice, especially when that last kill was a collapse. Moving on to this right here, it was the first clip I managed to hit on the account. Uh, I picked up this nice Springfield with the kind of glitch camo you can get in this game. We need to look up how to actually get that camo. Playing a bit of Griffin, which is probably my favourite operation. It's really, really good for hitting clips. All three sections of the map are great for hitting clips. Uh, this is probably the worst section to be fair to hit clips, but it's the one I've hit on. Managed to get that one cool right there. You get a second, third, split like crazy. Get a fourth right there, and then get a collapse for the on-screen split quad. Probably have to slow that down. And then this this cloud right here is a red gun clip. I just wanted to include it as it is a five man and I do swap weapons up here through. Using the STG here on breakout, just chilling a little area right here. And just waiting for them to try and come up or take the headquarters. Managed to get that first kill right there on that guy, and then pick up a bulk, get that kill, and then because of escalation, my mag keeps reloading. I actually turn into a five man feed, one feed with the bulk and one kill with the STG. And I also wanted to include this really weird clip right here. Uh, I was playing a bit of Griffin. And I guess I must have, well, I do die. And then as I respawn in it, I get stuck. And I guess I must have put my tack insert under the tank. And I just get stuck up here in the sky. And yeah, it was really weird. I actually almost hit something. I was just going for no scopes. And uh, yeah, it was just a really weird clip. This game's full of glitches. I actually managed to pick up a kill, as you can see there. This game is full of weird glitches. And this is just one of them that, you know, it happens. So yeah, those are all the clips that we did hit during this prestige. Now, sadly, there is no supply to put me. Already, Twitch has doomed this series. Already, we have been claimed for copyright on Twitch. Uh, the COD lobby music appears to be copyrighted on Twitch for some strange reason. So it is already, instead of not even muting the audio, it is completely deleted this episode's supply to put me and prestige. So sadly, you can't see us prestige and you can't see the supply drops we get. Uh, I don't think we got anything good. I think. But the best thing we got was the M1903 Faithful, which is a nice sniper. Uh, it's a bit rusty, but it does look quite nice when you put certain camos on it. But yeah, that has been episode 1. The Road to 10 Prestige, well, Master Prestige, I can finally say Master, not 10 Prestige here. 
on Call of Duty World War 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to follow along, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.